Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is Edwin. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to flash your transmission on your BMW F30 models. It doesn't really matter what BMW models you have because it's gonna be the same process for all of them. I did a video a couple weeks back on how to stage tune your car using boot mod 3. And for this video, we're gonna be using the same software. I already did this on my car, so I know what it feels like, but I'm gonna flash it back to stock and teach you guys how to do it from the beginning. It's a really simple process, just like the other one. It's gonna take you I want to say less than 10 minutes So when you buy the license for wood mod it's gonna give you a lot of features that you can use And one of them is that it gives you the ability to flash tune your transmission in order to make it more precise every shift And it's gonna be giving you higher torque levels on uh, third gear and sixth gear I'm guessing it is a little disclaimer you cannot flash manual transmissions BMW So you can only do automatic transmissions. So if you have an automatic and you want to flash your transmission and you already got boot mod, I'm going to teach you guys in this video how to do it step by step. So the things that you're going to need to flash your transmission is going to be the same thing as when you were flashing the car to in order to tune it. So the first thing you're going to need, it's going to be an OBD cable. And this is going to let you go connect to the car's ECU. You can find this one on Amazon for less than $20. The second thing you're going to need, it's going to be an ethernet adapter because most computers nowadays didn't come with it and this is going to be able to connect the obd cable to your computer in order to do the flashes you can get this one for 11 dollars on amazon too and the last but most important thing is going to be your computer it can be a mac or a pc doesn't matter what computer it is so just like the last video for this one, i'm going to be using internet connection too so um if you're not near your house you can use your cellular hotspot which is going to be the same thing just uh look for a place that you can have good reception because you don't want the internet connection cutting out of nowhere and uh, damaging your transmission so let's jump on my computer right now and i'm going to show you the step by step on how to flash a transmission and after that i'm going to give you little reviews and my thoughts on the difference that it makes in the car so just like the last video guys we're going to have the car in accessory mode so that means you're going to press the button just once and you want to save as much energy as possible so you're going to turn off all the lights all the electricity stuff and you need to have the seatbelt plugged in too And remember guys, because you want to have the car on and not to turn off by itself, you want to plug in your seatbelt. I know it's weird, but the BMWs have something that if you plug your seatbelt on while being an accessory, the car is not going to turn off by itself. So now that you're plugged in, everything is off. We can start with the tuning. Okay guys, so now we're in the computer and we're connected to the car through the OBD cables. Remember, you need to have internet connection for this and you want to have a stable connection. You don't want the connection cutting out of nowhere and having the flash fail. So what we first going to do is going to do to boot mod OBD with the agent okay you're gonna get this window and you're waiting for your connections up vehicles up so it's we're ready to go we're gonna go to Google Chrome or whatever software you want to use we're gonna type in bootmod.net and you're gonna get this window and we're gonna do sign in when to your information uh, mine's already saved because this is my computer Okay, as you guys can see, we're already in the computer of the car, we're in the ECU. So after that, you gotta see dashboard vehicles, that allow diagnostic my maps. This is when you can see the maps that you're running. That's for the last video on how to stage in your car. But for this video, we're tuning the transmission. So we're gonna come all the way down here and we're gonna go to transmission. After that, you're gonna see two options, which is gonna be upgraded eight speed automatic TCU flash. A little description will be races the torque limits for supporter eight speed automatic transmission vehicles and the other one will be stock eight speed automatic tcu flash revert back to stock transmission so that's if if you flash it and you want to go back to stock for whatever reason you just click on this one and it'll take you back to stock because every time you flash with boot mod there's a backup that will always get saved on your cloud and after that you're going to go back to the settings that you want so for, we're going to go click on upgrading eight speed automatic tcu flash Okay, it's going to be B-Mod speed but it got released on May 3rd in 2019, so it's going to be a year almost. And the B-Mod speed automatic transmission flash provides a higher torque limit and more precise and faster shifts. In addition, it maximizes the clamping force applied to the clutches, which is highly recommended on tuned vehicles. So we're going to see what this is all about. Remember, my car is already tuned, so we're going to go see what we can do with the new flash. So we're going to go hit flash TCU. Warning vehicle charges highly recommended. Turn headlights and fan off and plug the driver's side seatbelt in. So just like I said guys, you guys want to save as much energy as possible because tuning the car actually takes a lot of energy. Okay, so everything's off, seatbelt's on. If you're using a Pikaback device, make sure it's off or map zero. So you're gonna go to flash 
It's the loading transmission data from the Bootbound 3 servers. Okay, so through all of this, you're gonna see a lot of warnings popping on your screen. I just gotta dry train my function, but don't worry about that. It's all part of the game, you know, so don't worry about that. And now guys, this can sometimes takes a little while, so we're gonna wait. Modify transmission, congram and in progress. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's going right now. So it's gonna be, oh, it's actually going pretty fast. Okay, we're just waiting 15, 20. I'm gonna speed it up all the way to 80, so. Okay, so we're halfway through, we're in 70%. It's going pretty fast, actually. I thought it was gonna take like five to 10 minutes, but it's taking less than two. Okay, 80%. Okay, so it's finishing up, flash successful, restoring DME from backup. And just like I told you guys, I got a mock function, but don't worry, you can always fix that. So it says success. Okay, so we're gonna wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hit the start. And there you go. You have successfully flashed your transmission with no errors whatsoever. The check engine light is off. There's no more functions on the screen. So we're good to go. Okay, so what do you do after that? I'm just gonna go transmission again. I'm gonna go back, 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 exit. Keep logging info. And that's it. Okay guys, now that we just finished flashing the transmission, I'm gonna go give you a little quick ride and see what's different. I'm gonna switch to my RPM camera right now and show you what I'm doing on the screen. So guys, one of the good things about this when you flash in transmission is that uh, it doesn't really get affected driving on Eco or driving on Comfort. Uh, it would only get affected when you're driving on a uh, Sports or Sport Plus. But that's a good thing, you know, when you're like just cruising around, nothing will change and everything will stay the same. I'm not feeling any difference at the moment, but I'm gonna switch it right now. I'm gonna go to the streets right now. I'm gonna switch to sport right now to just give a little round to see the car warming up. So guys, I just switched to sport and I actually feel the difference right now. What it does is when you're in third gear uh, and you're not gassing it completely, it will rise the RPM levels. So if you, let's say RPMs are going all the way to 3000, when you go to third gear, it's gonna go all the way to 6000 uh, or 5000 5, RPMs. But it will only do it in third gear and sixth gear. So I'm gonna do a little pull right now and see what's going on with it. So yeah guys, you can actually feel it when you're doing it on sport and you're like a little bit of gas, not completely. When you're doing like half throttle, it's gonna be uh, the RPMs for, for third gear and sixth gear and just shoot all the way up. I'm gonna show you right now what I mean for the RPMs going all the way up on third and sixth gear right now. So as you guys can see, there's actually a big difference on third gear. I, I was not able to take the car all the way to sixth gear because I didn't have enough like free space to actually go and race it because I just went around my neighborhood. So you guys can actually see when it hits third gear, the RPMs go all the way down and it actually makes a huge difference because it makes it hard like pull a little bit harder. One thing that I realized is that when you're downshifting is more precise down where well, you're not really downshifting, the car is doing it for you. But when you're downshifting is more precise, it'll be slower and slower. You know, to give you the more push when you actually go, you lift out the throttle, it's gonna go down little by little. And when you actually go all the way up, it's gonna jump to third gear again and push all the way through. So I realize now that it makes it really precise. As soon as you hit the paddle, will be more precise gear changes too. It was not bad before because this BMWs already come with a really, it's not a dual clutch, but it really comes with a really good transmission. I don't think it's bad at all. But uh, this one actually makes a little bit of a difference because it's really, really precise. And the good thing about this tune is just like when you're stationing the car, as the more you drive it, the more the car's gonna get used to the tune. Just drive it around, normal routine. Uh, nothing's gonna get altered, like I said. Eco and comfort does not get affected at all. 
it's only when you put it on sports and sp on sport plus that you're gonna feel the difference and remember like i said this uh flash tune is only for automatic transmissions so a little uh facts review right now is going to be faster changes a more precise downshifting and upshifting too rpm levels are raised on third gear and supposedly six gear too but i was not able to get the car to six gear so you guys i think this is going to be it for the video i hope you guys learn how to flash your transmissions and have fun with it if you like the video please go like the video subscribe if you like the content and share it to your friends probably someone's gonna learn something new too and i'll see you next week enjoy